is so cool to come across female builders and she does a beautiful job. There's just so much creativity in here and you're going to see the colors and the, the finishings are just amazing. So you know what? Why don't we go on and I'm going to introduce you to the person who did this build. Felisa. Hi there. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. When I walk into the Tiny Fest, it's right at the start, at the beginning. And I thought this is going to be an incredible day if this is what it's going to be like. Now, I'm calling this a cargo trailer, but you're saying it's something else? It's a horse trailer. A horse trailer. So tell me something. Are you full-time, part-time? How, um, uh, as far as living in here or what is your status right now uh right now this is uh purely my show trailer because i build these out oh yeah so when you built this out did you plan on going into business i did oh you did i did so you from the very beginning had a master plan oh absolutely absolutely so what got you interested in this type of this type of building were you in construction before yes I've been a custom furniture builder uh, for about 20 years now oh yeah. so but that is a bit of a leap from a custom I mean it's it's not a leap in that you're being creative and you're creating something from nothing mm -hmm. but it's a leap that you're going from furniture to a, a dwelling because this is actually a dwelling correct so what made you make that leap well I wanted to go into the tiny home uh, business and so this made it very uh, easy for me to do that being a custom furniture builder I mean I'm building furnishings for homes anyway so this made it very easy to go into a smaller landscape okay so have you always been interested in a minimalistic or tiny home homes I have been for many years now, yes, because it's just uh, just living more with less. Okay. Well, you know what? As I'm looking here, I'm just trying to think, how did, how did you decide to do a horse trailer? Well, basically, I decided on a horse trailer because of the foundation of it. Um, this, is a thir this is for thoroughbred horses, and they weigh about 1,200 to 1,500 pounds each, and this would hold four of them. So the foundation was perfect for me to, to build up on that. So you wanted something that was really, really solid and sturdy. Absolutely. Okay, and I'm looking around and I'm seeing so many finishing touches. Did you do all the decorating too, or did you have someone else do the decorating? No, uh, I absolutely have been the only one that has touched this unit. So now you were saying that you started this as the first of a unit are the first unit planning to expand into a business. Mm -hmm. So what else have you built? So I went from uh, converting horse trailers to actually building now uh, uh, conversion vans, uh, Mercedes vans, I've converted a few of those. And then also I have worked with other clients on converting their spaces. Okay, so what about tiny homes that are on foundations. Have you done any of those? I have been working with a few clients actually uh, here in the metro area of p placing uh, foundation homes on the property in the back of their house uh, or putting them on uh, chassis so they could take them around. Okay, so if someone wanted to reach you and find out about your, um, you know, your pricing and what models are available. Now, Speaking of that, let me back up for a second. So do you have specific models that are available or can someone come to you with an idea and you will build something based on what they're, they've already established that they want? It's better if they come to me with an idea of what they want um, because it's hard for me to give you a list of this is the only thing that we do because everyone's desire and what they need for their spaces is different. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always wanted it to be just a custom space specifically for your desire and for your needs. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna come back in another video and we're going to do a complete tour and meantime, if someone wanted to reach you, how would they do so? They can do so by Tiny House Conversions. That's my Instagram um, uh, channel. 
or they can contact me at bentonchf.com or they can contact me with the telephone number. Okay, so here's your information. And let me ask you something. What would say a kind of a basic, very minimalistic build in a, what would you say is the least expensive type of build you would do? Would it be in a cargo trailer? Would it be a tiny home? Would it be a van build? What would be the most economical? Well, it's kind of interesting because I think the, the way I like to start it out, roughly right now we're running about $60,000 for a custom build. And that custom build can be on a foundation, that custom build can be on a chassis, that custom build can be a conversion. So okay. that's really where we're starting now is around 60000 Okay. Well, you heard it here, Benton Custom Homes. And we're going to come through in the next video and we're going to look at this horse trailer that when you go inside, you think you're in a studio apartment, but it's a horse trailer. So we'll be back. Come and join us for the second video. And this is going to be a real treat. Thank you so much.